Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some Abernethy biscuits. Now these are a fairly plain biscuit uh, and they were originally uh, thought of or introduced by a Dr John Abernethy who um, was born in uh, London sort of uh, many 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 years ago and uh, he introduced these biscuits as uh, similar to digestive as an aid to digestion and he included uh, or suggested in, in including caraway seeds in the biscuits because that is supposed to aid digestion. There is some thought these days that the biscuits are named um, after the town of Abernethy in Scotland. I'm not going to get into the discussion I only know that this Dr John Abernethy um, first suggested these biscuits. So that's what I'm going to make. They're very simple to make and very, very tasty. I bought them many years ago when Marks and Spencers used to make a version and I've tried uh, a, another version by a company called Simmers or, or a, a brand known as Simmers, um, which are quite nice, but not as buttery. Now, these biscuits, I'm using some butter and some lard. Lard helps to give an extra crispness and I'm sure in fact, I'm fairly certain that originally, um, instead of using baking powder as I'm going to do today, they would have used ammonium bicarbonate. But I'm not using ammonium bicarbonate, I'm using baking powder. Now, um, I've got my oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And I've lined a couple of baking trays with silicon mats, but you could use parchment paper. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have 200 grams, which is one and one third cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. I have 75 grams, which is six tablespoons of caster sugar. One medium egg, which would be large in the USA. 45 millilitres, three tablespoons of milk, four grams, one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and here I have um, one gram, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom seeds. Now, you could, if you wanted to, omit that. I had the whole seeds and I ground those up into this powder uh, simply because I didn't want to encounter the crunch of the cardamom seeds uh, which are quite hard uh, while I'm eating but I wanted to have the flavour. I also have uh, 50 grams which is three and a half tablespoons of cold butter cubed and 25 grams one, and, one tablespoon and two teaspoons of cold lard cubed. The butter is firmer than the lard because the lard doesn't free, uh, chill in quite the same way. So we'll go on to make our uh, dough. So into the bowl of my uh, processor uh, that goes with my uh, immersion blender, I put my flour, my baking powder, my salt and my ground caraway seeds. I think I may have referred to it as cardamom in the ingredients list, but it's caraway seeds. So um, I'm just going to shake those around a little bit. That's good enough. And then I'm going to add in my lard and my butter. And I'm going to add my sugar over the top of those. And then I'm going to process that and then I'm going to process that until uh, the mixture resembles fine breadcrumbs basically. And 
and that didn't take long at all. So I'm going to add in my egg and I'm going to process it again and get that combined. And that's mixed in quite nicely. I'm just going to scrape the sides of the bowl a little bit. And I'm going to add in some milk. Now I may not need all of the milk, I just want to mix it until it begins to clump together a little bit. So I'll put in a tablespoon at first maybe. And I'll add just a little drop more, maybe another half a tablespoon. So that's come together quite nicely, I can see that. So I don't need the remainder of my milk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip that out uh, onto a floured work surface. So that's quite a wet dough. So I'm just going to turn that over on the flour like that. And I'm going to flatten it. And I'm going to keep that surface floured because I need to pick these up and put them onto the baking tray. And just roll that out to a thickness, so I've, I've rolled it out and it's to a thickness of about a quarter of an inch or just under. Uh, like that. And I've taken um, a, a cookie cutter which is um, about five and a half centimetres, maybe two and a quarter inches, and I'm going to cut out some rounds like that and I'm going to transfer those to a baking tray so with uh, the dough rolled out um, I have a little bit more left which I'll roll out later. I'm actually going to make some holes on the biscuits. You can use a fork to do this if you want to. And I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 12 to 14 minutes um, until they bake nice and crisp and they've coloured around the edges and slightly over the top as well. Then I'll take them out of the oven, bake the remainder and I'll come back and show you the results once they've cooled down on a wire rack. I baked the Abernethy biscuits for 14 minutes. I checked them after 12 minutes and I thought they just needed a little bit longer so I baked them for 14 minutes. Now I should say it depends on how thick you roll out your dough. I think uh, slightly less than a quarter of an inch is just about good enough. No thicker than that, otherwise uh, they won't crisp up in the way that you want them to without further baking. So I baked mine for uh, 14 minutes and this is what they look like. So they baked up quite nicely as you can see and I'll uh, break this one and that's nice and crisp as you, you probably heard. So I'll have a taste of it.
Mm. It's very, very good. It's quite a plain biscuit. As you can see, there's only sugar, flour and some lard and a little bit of caraway seed. Um, you could put slightly more caraway in if you wanted a stronger flavour. You could also add something like a little drop of uh, orange blossom water. I've seen that suggested in some recipes as well. Uh, but this is a, a nice plain biscuit, which is for me perfect with a cup of tea or even with just a, a, a thin slice of cheese or something, uh, just something to nibble on. So it's a very simple recipe um, to make and it doesn't take very long. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link uh, for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.